first president you voted for? Do you remember? I don't remember, but Steve Harris introduces <laughs> us to two people who voted for presidents most of us have only read about. We waited at the polls, and now we're still waiting. But when you think about it, voting is something we've been doing for the past 232 years. But try as I might, I couldn't find anyone who voted for George Washington. I did, however, find a couple of people who voted in the 40s and 50s. Stevenson apparently ran twice. At 89 years old, Howard Mullins remembers the first president he voted for and why. Uh, Eisenhower. We didn't know much the difference between Democrats and Republicans. We just kind of picked a personality and voted for him in those days or who we thought would do the best job. I knew he was, of course, a a general in World War II. And he's voted for the last 11 presidents since. There wasn't that kind of squabbling today. Once we got a president, he was president. Everybody respected him for his ability. Not like it is today. Back then, the voting age was 21. May Wakeham is... Ladies do not tell their age. Well, that's fair enough. But she did tell me the first president she voted for. The first president I remember voting for was Harry S. Truman. It was sort of a non-event. I mean, it's just something that one did as your, you know, as your patriotic duty, you voted. I asked them both how voting has changed. It was just much simpler then because you just had a ballot and a pa piece of paper with the candidates listed on it. Not many people, no waiting, no that sort of thing like it is today. Both Howard and May voted early in this election. The line was wrapped all the way around the building to the back. Stood in line for an hour and a half and voted. Keeping their impressive streak going. That's what one must do for your country. Steve Harris, News 4. Very sweet story. Love that.